I'm Heidi Roizen, and I am the founder, CEO, and chief lyricist of Skinny Songs. Heidi, thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. Oh, I'm so excited you're here. So tell me a little bit about your career. Well, up until just a few months ago, my whole career was spent in Silicon Valley, first as an entrepreneur and then as a venture capitalist. So all of a sudden now, I'm in the music business. How did that happen? When this music idea popped into my head, and it, and it literally is not something I was setting out to do. I mean, I'm, I'm turning 50 in a few months, and the last thing on my mind was suddenly launching a new company, and especially in the music industry. A lot of my friends say to me, you know, most people are getting out of the music industry right now, and you're getting into the music industry? That's kind of counterintuitive. But really, for me, this was um, what I think you hear commonly among a lot of entrepreneurs. I really wanted the product to exist, and it didn't and I figured it had to be made. This is such a big change. How are you gonna measure success? I designed this for myself, and I'm ecstatically happy with the music, and I listen to it all the time. So I will tell you that at one level, I feel like I've already succeeded. I already feel like I've created a music product that absolutely exceeded my initial expectations and is satisfying what I wanted to do. Now I gotta make money. That said, do I believe that I'm going to sell a million copies and get a Grammy or a, you know, some other award? Yes, I do. I absolutely believe that this music can sell millions of copies. And by God, I'm going to go out there and try to make that happen. So you know what? That is amazing. Is it scary? Oh, it's totally scary. I mean, this is really personal, too. I, I think that, that one of the challenges with this music is what I had to say was really personal. And I believe it's going to be a big seller because I believe there are 50 million other women in America who are thinking a lot of the same conflicted thoughts I think about. Hey, I'm aging, but I still want to look good. I want to be fit, but it isn't all about fitness. And sometimes it just pisses me off that there are people, uh, I won't name names here right now, but there are people who are thinner than I am and you know who seem to get it naturally when I have to work so hard at it. So it seems like this product is very personal and it was sort of time for you to do that. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah. I, you know it's interesting when you go back and look at something like this because clearly my goal wasn't oh I think I'll start a music company and make music. My initial goal was damn it I want to lose weight and get in shape and have a creative side expressed that I really haven't had in so many years of, of my life. It's just so fun to write lyrics and work on music. I mean, I'm so jazzed about what I'm doing that that's a form of creativity that I think has always been bottled up inside of me. I mean, I was a creative writing major in college. I just never got around to using it until now. A lot of women between the age of 40 and 50, even into their 60s, are making big career changes. What advice do you have for women who decide this is something I have to do? So I think that for women who are considering this kind of change, A, you have to be committed to doing it. You can't be just kind of goofing off. And B, you have to accept that you might fail. And you have to have thought through what that's going to feel like and how you're going to pick yourself up and move on. And I'm, while I'm not expecting it to be a failure, I'm ready for that. So Heidi, we're asking this question of everyone. What inspires you? When you can touch other people and help them do something positive for their lives, that's really meaningful to me at this point. So everyone should write an album that's, that's the right. weight, the high everyone, weight loss book. Everyone should commit to having a whole album about losing weight and getting in shape and then going on the road to promote it because you certainly couldn't go on the road to promote it and say, hey, Skinny Songs, didn't work for me, but hope you buy it. I mean, that's not going to work, right?